GameStop has their own publishing team under the name of Game Trust. Their goal is to team up with video game developers to make the games they want to make and to make these games available in all GameStop and EB Game stores. The first game published by Game Trust was Son of the Deep, which was developed by Insomnia Games. And if you want to see my review of Son of the Deep, the link's in the description. But regardless, their newest game, which was just released, is called Has Been Heroes, which was developed by Frozen Byte, the makers of the Trine series. Selling at $20 American for the PS4, Xbox One, and surprisingly the Nintendo Switch, let's see what Has Been Heroes has to offer. Has Been Heroes starts off with a young rogue wandering around the world and eventually stumbles upon the Has Been Heroes, which are exactly what they sound like. The king summons these Has Been Heroes one last time and gives them one final epic quest, which is to escort his two daughters to school. But the road ahead of them is, according to the game, long and fraught with peril, which is an absolute understatement. As a roguelike RPG, you can't expect the game to deliver much of a story, but the premise and initial setup of Has Been Heroes is so enticing and relatively creative that it's a shame that there isn't much of a story outside the initial intro cutscene. The 2D hand-drawn art style of Hasbro Heroes sometimes looks really nice, but the character design is uninspired and the environments are incredibly disappointing when compared to the landscapes of the studio's previous work in the Trine series. What bothers me the most about the visuals, excluding the messy UI, is that even for an indie game, the pixelated, low-res characters and backdrops are very disappointing, but at least this doesn't detract from the actual gameplay. Has Been Heroes is a roguelike, lane-based strategy game that incorporates both real-time and turn-based RPG elements. Like most other roguelikes, if you die, you start over from the very beginning. It takes place in randomly generated levels that you navigate like a maze. You can choose which path you want to take, however backtracking too much will cause your team to get lost, which causes a game over. Besides battle screens, you could stumble across merchants, locksmiths, and locked chests, but you absolutely need to stumble upon as many merchants as possible so you can buy all the spells you come across if you want even a small chance to get through the rest of the game. In battle mode, you control three different characters, a strong tank-like character, a mage, and a rogue. Enemies will come from the right side of the screen, and all of them are equipped with a health bar and a stamina bar. In order to cause any damage to these enemies, you need to eliminate their stamina bar by physically hitting the enemy as many times as their stamina bar suggests. If their stamina is depleted, they're stunned and are able to be attacked one time. However, if you're trying to deplete their stamina and hit them one too many times, they'll be knocked back and their stamina will be replenished, forcing you to start again. So in order to take out these enemies, you have to use simple math to switch the heroes you use to attack as each hero hits a certain number of times. Tank hits one time, Mage hits twice, and the Rogue hits three times. Now the Tank is great for wiping out enemies in one blow, and the Rogue can deplete enemy stamina rather quickly, while also being able to take out smaller enemies. But the Mage that hits two times is so frustratingly weak and pointless that it baffles me how he was included to be the way he is. When he attacks an enemy that has no stamina, his damage is so minuscule that you literally can't even see their health bar go down. Now the perk of the mage is supposed to be his magic, but the one power he starts off with is pointless. Furthermore, every ability and piece of magic you come across in the game can be used on any character with no sacrifices to how strong the power is. So basically, his only use is to hit someone twice instead of one time or three times. The reason this bugs me as much as it does is because Has Been Heroes is built in a way where sometimes it is literally impossible to get through certain battles. The handicaps your team has when it comes to powers, damage, and the time it takes to recharge your ability to attack makes Has Been Heroes absolutely frustrating and unfair. Hell, you even have a handicap when it comes to simply switching the lanes of your heroes. Not only are the controls for this game so cumbersome that I'm still not used to them, but you're not allowed to put heroes in different lanes until one of them are forced to attack. The only hopes you have of ever getting through this game is all centered around luck. If you don't come across useful items or spells quickly, it's game over. The enemy variety in the game is pathetic, which makes an already repetitive game even more monotonous. At the end of the first level, there are one of two bosses you'll be up against. This skeleton or this skeleton. One boss battle has you attempt to defeat the boss while simultaneously focusing on up to 20 different enemies on screen. I have yet to beat this boss even one time. Every time I made it to level 2, I considered it as a tremendous accomplishment. After the 15 plus hours I put in the game, I've only beat level 2 one time. You know what happened? After a 20 minute boss battle, the game tells me I did a good job and unlocked a new character for me. Then a bunch of random items pop up on the screen for a good 5 minutes and then I'm sent to the main menu. It's game over and that is it. If I want to see what the rest of the game is like, I have to start all over just so I can make it to level 3. After another two hours of trying to beat level two again, but failing miserably, I simply gave up. 
like many older RPGs of yesteryear, has by Heroes' punishing difficulty is all because of unbalanced gameplay and poor design choices. I spent around 17 hours with Hasbid Heroes, and I've only made it past the second level one time, although theoretically, you could spend over 100 hours on this game. Replay value consists of unlocking all the items and spells, and unlocking all the different heroes, which are so similar to each other that I wonder why they exist in the first place. The game is best played on the Nintendo Switch, as it's easy to get distracted with its gameplay for 15 minute sessions, making it an admirable choice for short bursts of distraction. But the lack of touchscreen controls is a major oversight. has been Heroes has the potential of being the first great strategy game for the Switch, with an intriguing setting, addictive roguelike nature, and mildly entertaining gameplay. But due to major balancing issues, clumsy controls, boring visuals, repetitive gameplay, and terrible difficulty spikes that only exist due to bad game design, what you have is a frustrating adventure that never once felt rewarding. For $20 American, if you're simply looking for an on-the-go strategy game for your Switch, has been Heroes can hold your attention if you could put up with this infuriating difficulty. However, as a console game for PS4 or Xbox One, unless this game is really up your alley, I can't recommend it. Has been Heroes could have been something truly special, but instead, it's simply an unrewarding experience. Has been Heroes receives a 5.5 out of 10. Before you exit this video, I have a slightly important message. Even though I didn't enjoy this game nearly as much as I wanted to, I want to thank Frozenbyte and Game Trust for giving me the privilege to review their game by supplying me a free copy of their game ahead of release. This is the first time I have ever been given a review copy of a game before, and I am incredibly thankful that they did this for me and gave me such a wonderful opportunity. I do hope to have an awesome relationship with Game Trust, and hopefully, maybe in the future, I can continue to review whatever games they have in store for us. On a side note, I want to give one of you guys a chance to play Has Been Heroes for yourselves. In 10 seconds, I'm going to display a redeemable code that will get one of you your very own copy of Hasbro Heroes for PS4. Just type this code in the PSN store before anyone else does, and it's yours. This is just a simple way for me to tell you guys that I love you and that I appreciate your support. Are you ready? Thank you for watching, and stay fresh.